you going to do? Go back to work? Of course you're not. All right, question. Uh, oh, that was the whole thing about the guy from Austin. Do I have a question here? All right, Bill, uh, big fan of the podcast. Let me start by painting a picture of where my life is right now. I'm 21 years old. Oh, listen to this shit. Recently landed a nice part-time job, and I really enjoy, and I'm currently working my way through university, which will hopefully provide me with an even better-paying job. I'm single. I'm playing in a band. Rail my fair share of females accordingly. Just got back from overseas and even have more ambitions Maybe to even start doing stand-up comedy. I feel that I'm in the prime existence of my life right now, and everything's fucking great. I also feel that the only thing that has the pen- potential to fuck up this good thing for me is my own sperm. All right, you're thinking right. It's exactly what you should be thinking. Uh, who would have thought that the very thing I was so proud to be able to produce when I was 12 years old would terrify me to such an extent um, only nine years later? Uh, recently, a buddy of mine got the news that an ex-girlfriend was pregnant. Fortunately, this girl wound up having a miscarriage. (laughs) Can I please read that sentence out again? Just aloud. Fortunately, this girl wound up having a miscarriage. Uh, But before this event, the reality of fertilization and just how much it could change my life hadn't really dawned on me. Yes, I'm sure fatherhood fatherhood is very rewarding, a very rewarding experience, um, on the path of becoming a man and blah, blah, blah. But I don't, I don't want that, not for a long time. Okay, you're thinking the right thing. Fatherhood is a rewarding thing, but you have to do it with the right person. And you know you don't want it for a long time. Okay, you're thinking. You're thinking really well for a 21-year-old. Let's continue. It plays on my, my, on my mind so much that before I can even fuck a girl, I need to be able to convince myself that I could talk her into an abortion. Oh, Jesus. Uh, So recently, I started contemplating an early life vasectomy. Oh, jeez. And have been doing my research. The surgery is is all keyhole, whatever that means, and apparently low risk. However, I feel that when it comes to your balls, any amount of risk uh, can't be discounted in such a way. So I thought to myself, WWBBD, what would Bill Burr do? So, Bill, what is your take on my situation? All right, the first half of your email, you're coming out strong. You had a great first half, okay? You had a great first half, and then the Saints came out, and they kicked an onside kick, and now you're thinking about having a vasectomy. Fucking stupid. All right? Okay, the very fact that when you sit there going, when I'm I'm about ready to hook up with a girl, the first thing, I have to be able to convince myself that I can talk this woman into having an abortion. That sounds like you're going raw, dude which you shouldn't be doing, okay? Why don't you just wear a fucking condom? Wear a condom and then pull out. You do that, you're all fucking set. Just do that. Don't go in and have them snip you fucking nuts. I mean, they say it's reversible. I don't know. Sometimes it isn't, and there's always like chaos theory where uh, it might not be reversible. Like you might be the one in the zillion chance where it isn't reversible, dude. You don't fucking... You know, I'm telling you, at 21... Most people don't want to have a kid and can't ever see the moment where they want to have a kid because you want to have fun. But I'm telling you, when you get to be my age, it changes. All of a sudden, you've had your fun. You want to have a kid, you know, and for everybody I know, you know, a lot of comedians, we have kids later on in life because we're trying to make it in this fucking business. And I'm telling you, every one of them who has a kid, um, other than one dude, other than that, all of them have just been like, dude, it's fucking unbelievable. I can't believe I almost didn't do it. So... Um, if you were 41, 42 and you still were feeling strong, I would even say wait till you were 50. But until then, dude, uh, wear a condom. At the very least, dude, you don't want to catch any fucking diseases out there. So uh, I would say wear a condom. Do not, do not get a vasectomy at 21 years of age. You're out of your fucking mind. Don't do that, all right? Why don't you just fucking remove your colon while you're at it and get a fucking colostomy bag? You're way ahead of, you're way, you're thinking way too far down the fucking line. You gonna buy some orthopedic shoes too? Huh? Don't do that shit, okay? Do Keep doing what you're doing. Don't have a girlfriend. Fucking bang everything that moves. Play your music. Try stand up. That's what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. Just wear a condom. But don't get a vasectomy. Don't, don't fucking do it. All right? And that's it. That's the podcast for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to have a brand new player up on my, uh, my website, hopefully coming up this week. Um, you know what? If you join my email list, I, I will send out a, uh, a mass email letting everybody know what is up 
what's the deal with the podcast? And this will be a final fix because that's what I told my web guy. I said, don't build me any su- any fucking Hyundai piece of shit podcast player. I want this thing to be top of the line so everything's great. I want the whole thing to be hooked up. And uh, hopefully what's, what I'm gonna, going to have is like on Gcast, we had all the podcasts. Because right now on iTunes, there's two. There's the old school, the classic, and now the newer ones. And um, I want them all... I want them all on one thing because, you know, if people discover my podcast. I want them to be able to go back as far as they can without having to go through all this other bullshit, jumping through hoops and shit. All right, so I'll work it out. Anyways, that's the podcast for this week. Thank you guys for listening. Have a great week. And uh, watch some of the curling. Invent a drinking game. Tell me how it goes because I'm going to be off the wagon here soon. All right, take it easy.